Rick B's daily vlog. Yes, it's been a minute. And the only reason why, I'll explain why I haven't been vlogging. But today, I'm in Clement to talk about the rich history of bus van. Let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Not quite so daily. I've been focusing on the podcast for a while, so if you guys haven't followed me on my podcast, I got two channels. I got the daily podcast with Eric B, available on Apple, Spotify, and I also got the Ordinary Joe's podcast as well, um, available on Apple, Spotify, all that places. So if you guys haven't heard from me because of here, Follow me there. But today, getting back into the groove, haven't vlogged in two weeks. Yes, it's been that long. But we're gonna talk about the rich history of bus van. Before Ikea, there was bus van. So let's go dive into a little history. Let's go check this out. Let's go, let's go. This is the Clement Street one. Again, there was two in San Francisco. This one was the smaller of the two. And if you couldn't find what you needed here, you'd have to go to the one, like I said, closer to, I want to say the wharf area, but if you see this whole black building right here, it went all the way past this green Dior, see where Park Life is over there? It went all the way there to Park Life. So this whole thing was bus van. This is where you would go pick up your merchandise so if you wanted something and you had it you wanted to put it in your car you would back your car up right in here in this driveway and you would load it up right through those doors that was the showroom that's what they showed you what they had and you picked what you wanted and this is where you picked it up kind of like ikea but not quite. Yes, before Ikea, before all these stores, you had li these little small mom pa stores. You had to go and get your furniture. Bus van was the main one that a lot of people went to. You would come in here, you would, again, you would go through the furniture you like, and you would have to get lucky and find one that was either already assembled that they were selling, it was called the, the floor sample or the floor, yeah, the floor sample, or you would have to find it, you would have to assemble it when you get home, and assembling it, to me, is the worst thing ever. Because before Ikea made it simple, where it was like, you know, you take A and put it into B and B. So it was, Ikea kind of simplified the way we assemble things at home. Bus van, you would actually have to read, read the manual. And sometimes it didn't even come with a picture. So you'd have to read the manual, but this right here, again, iconic sign right there. Pretty cool. That was, a, that was a bad thing when Ikea first opened up. It closed stores like this, bus van, it did. It closed stores at this, like this, but Ikea made it more worldwide. You can go to Ikea, you can go to the catalog, you can pick something out, and it was the same thing at all Ikeas. You just, again, you'd have to go there, pick it out, put it together. Same thing here with bus van but again bus van was a lot easier to get to if there was something you needed bus van I'm going to bus van I need a dresser I'm going to bus van now when you look on Facebook market and you see people selling old furniture sometimes I like to ask where you got it from and when they say bus van I'm jumping on it I'm buying it because it's a bus van furniture. You don't see those around anymore. You don't, they're gone. But I'm glad the owners of this building left the sign right there. I gotta go check out the other one um, down. And when I say, for, I'm saying like it's like on Broadway and Green Street. That's where the old bus van used to be. Over there by the Levi's, Levi Strauss area in San Francisco. But that's an iconic sign, bright yellow. Back in the days, this whole thing you can't see it anymore, but there was a bus fan sign, probably where that Grand Rio sign is right there. 
but there was a bus van sign throughout this whole thing. This had two floors. So you could actually go up to the second floor and look at something you want. But now, I'm not really sure what it is. A trinket store? Is it a store that just has oddities? It's called the other side when you look in the window. It's cool. And it's funny because there's a sign on the window that says going viral in 2020. 2020 is not a year to go viral unless you have the coronavirus. That's all I got to say. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's vlog. A short vlog today. Yes, short vlog. I haven't vlogged in two weeks. Two weeks. Only because, again, I've been focusing a lot on the podcast station. I know there's a lot of you guys. Linda Spaulding, you follow me on YouTube. I know you're not a big um, podcaster or like to listen to podcasts, but I'm there. That's where I'm spending a lot of my time. I did open up a startup, a new podcast with The Ordinary Joe. Joe's podcast with me and my friend Joe where we just talk about ordinary things that Joes do like us for Joes guys are considered ordinary Joes so if I'm not on here follow me there I am going to try to get more content out for you guys like the rich history of bus van 80s and 90s this area was here 80s and 90s because in the late 90s 2000s that's when Ikea started becoming more popular and people started getting more stuff from Ikea so this 80s and 90s, that's when you want to, you know, if you guys remember this area, if you're from this Clement Street area, Richmond District area, this is where you got your furniture. So it's pretty cool. Thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Brian Suey, Byron Suey, is it Brian Suey? Let me, let me look up your name. I don't want to, I don't want to kill your name. Let me just open up my, my app right here because you sent me a message. Um, Byron. Byron Sui, thank you. I am doing well. The COVID did not get me. Again, I was focusing more on the podcast channel. Linda Spaulding, yes, it has been two weeks. Thank you guys for the concern, but I am back. I am back and running. I'm gonna try to do this and the two podcasts. It's gonna be a juggling act, but I'm gonna get it done. Thank you guys for your concern. I'm gonna try to get a vlog out tomorrow to talk about something else here in San Francisco. But until then, have your mask in handy, ready to, just in case, and wash your hands six feet apart. Thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me comments down below. Here from the old bus van location. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ended. Go in peace. remember this whole area bus van I'm glad the building's still there and I'm glad the sign's still there but man I wish bus van was still here trust me you would too but not tonight I made this